Hello everyone, this is Tyler Howard. Today's date is January 21st, 2012, and I'm from the Guildhall in Core 17, and I'll be teaching you how to load a character in from the content browser and load it into your scene, into here, using Kismet and the matting editor. Um, you should have watched Julia's video previously. This was part three in a tutorial. And picking up where she left off. So at this point you should have an animation set, the your material and texture for a model. In this case we're using the female caveman. Cave woman, excuse me. And the me skeletal mesh. So what you're gonna do first off is highlight the skeletal mesh in the editor, content editor, content browser, excuse me. Um, right click on the ground in the level and makes it really easy here just to add skeletal mesh, this TG2, TGP2 research test. Or whatever the whatever you called your skeletal mesh. That'd be this in this case. So let's do it by name and add skeletal mesh. Just gonna bring this closer here since when we load the level to test the animation when it loads in, she'll be in view for us. Let me just play. Okay, so we should bring it closer and bid that way. So we have a good spot. It's because she's in the she's in the level, but she's not playing any animations. That's what we're gonna fix. So at this point, you want to right click on her, change her properties, and change movement right here from physics none to physics interpolating. That's a necessary step it's later on. Um, another thing we want to do now is open up the Kismet editor, add a new event, particularly level loaded event. Also double click to, no excuse me, right click and add a new matinee event and drag a line from load invisible here to play here. So when the level loads and is visible, we'll play the animation. So on this matinee event, we want to double click and go to skeletal meshes here and make a new skeletal mesh group and name the group wherever you like. Perfectly, something that identifies it really well. Instead of a generic new skeletal mesh group, but since this is a demonstration and this is the only group we'll have, I'll leave it as it default for now. So we want to go to the skeletal mesh group tab here. Click on this green plus sign and group anim sets. And go to the content editor, select your animations, your desired animation set for this track. In this case, the BIP01 from Julie's previous video. And click this green arrow. This will automatically add your desired animation set to this track. After that, select the animation track here, and you want to add a keyframe, which you do by clicking this button in the top left, next to this drop-down box. It's very hard to see, possibly in this video.